Um, my name is Naila Roberts. I am a clinical lab science interest and I am an ITP student. I went to Central Academy uh, in seventh grade and uh, I was also a part of G, uh, I think it's called Tag Now, Talented and Gifted Program. And um, that started about first grade, so I'd say first grade was my first acceleration. Uh, when we were that young, we usually just went to summer camp or there were times when we'd be pulled out of class in order to do things with the other students. So around that time, I pretty much stayed with kids my own age. I did 12 and um, that, that went really well. The, it was the same type of thing at Central Academy. We were in a group with in classes with kids our own age and in our own class and these are kids that I'd been with since 7th or 8th grade so once I got to high school um, it was pretty easy. Yeah, they were definitely more challenging. I, I In my senior year I only had maybe two non-EP courses and, and that was a really really challenging year. Um, but I did enjoy like the, the rigor and it was really interesting. We got to go in depth a lot more than other classes did. It was pretty positive because we didn't have to accelerate into an older group of students. I still felt really comfortable because I was with kids my own age, I was with my own classmates and my friends, and uh, so that made it a lot easier and it made the whole transition a lot smoother. I think. Um, in my family, it was always like education is really important to us. So my parents were really proud when I got into. GT and then subsequently uh, Central Academy, um, so it was never like an issue at home. It was, it was always just like a real encouragement, a real push to keep doing better. Um, in school, it might have been a little different because, like I guess, starting so young, I sort of like lost friends really early. And uh, but it, but it was okay because we, I was able to like find people that had similar interests with me, and that was that was really helpful. So. Um, at my, my uh, home high school, um, teachers were pretty encouraging to take, keep taking AP classes. There were AP classes offered there too, so um, it always encouraged students who worked at a higher level to take higher level courses. It, it really helped me like build meaningful relationships. I, not to say that the friends that I lost because I wasn't doing the same things were not meaningful, but it, it just helped me build friendships that are lasting. Like I have people here at the university that I've known for about seven years now, and um, and they're they're friends that I intend to keep throughout my university uh, career. I think I actually would have taken some classes at a a community college. Uh, when I got here, I realized that a lot of kids that didn't have as many AP classes offered at their school took classes at community college, and I, I feel like that would have helped me understand how a college class works a little better. Um, because last semester, it was sort of a sort of like a shock, like, oh wow, you just give us this whole syllabus, and we're, we're like in charge of how things work. And um, I think had I known that, it would have been a little a little easier. It just, I mean, I came into uh, here, I came here and like took chemistry and for instance that, taking AP Chem helped so much, like I had a, like a skeletal understanding of how, of the things I was going to learn and it wasn't just like getting all this information thrown at me, it was uh, just sort of filling in the gaps instead of like having to start from zero. I would say before you try like skipping kids into a totally different grade, I would try to look into opportunities where you can be with students your own age. I feel like that helped me a lot. Um, just being with other kids that were in a similar situation, I was able to relate to them better than had I been in a class with a bunch of older kids because at a certain point I would have been in a class with like kids that were two years older than me. And, and I think that would have been really scary. Um, so I, I would I would look into trying to accelerate 
within your own age group before you try just pushing kids into a different grade. Um, and I would also like take advantage of extracurriculars. I know it's not completely related, but taking advantage of that helps like just build a good mindset, like a like a versatilist mindset rather than just specifying in one one area.